my name is Jorgelina. Thank you so much for tuning in. I figured I'd do a video to kind of talk a little bit about the transition and um, why my channel has changed names, um, if you can call it a channel. I, um, I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher for a while and I started this YouTube channel back in 2020 when the pandemic hit uh, to share free resources and how-to videos for teachers. Um, definitely being a teacher is not the only thing that I am. Um, I, it is a huge part of who I am, <laughs> but not the only one. Um, I, I'm not saying I ran out of ideas. Um, I definitely still use all of those resources and everything that I have uh, shared in the past. And I do plan on continuing to share like I always have on um, over on the Facebook page. So that's still open. It's been open since 2020. We have shared thousands of activities. Uh, there are over 60,000 teachers that use them, which is amazing. Um, and that's going to continue to be up. And this channel will always still be what it is. Um, if you are a teacher and you wish to come along with me um, through this journey, uh, you are welcome to stick around. I would love to have you as I just kind of transition into a little bit of who I am outside of the classroom, uh, which has taken such a huge part of my life. Uh, so just kind of trying to find a little bit of who who I am, or who Jorgelina is. And, you know, my loves for all the different things that don't necessarily just involve being a teacher. Uh, when it comes to digital activities, though, I am super passionate about it. And if you reach out to me and tell me, hey, you know, uh, Jorgelina, I haven't found an activity that works well uh, for my geometry class. So can you help me make one? I will absolutely do it. Uh, that's just my passion. I use these activities daily and it's not an exaggeration. I use them all the time. I share them all the time with my colleagues at my current school and my students still love them. Uh, so they are still definitely part of what I do every day, but I just don't have the need to consistently create new ones because I am at a point where I could just reuse what I've made year after year. Uh, which is an amazing thing to have, right? Just this huge uh, Google Drive filled with activities that I can pull from, especially when we have things like sub days or um, I need a quick review activity. So I love, I love having that. But who am I? So what else, what else am I? Uh, back um, a year and a half ago, I had kind of like a life crisis where I was super burnt out with teaching and I decided that it was no longer for me. So I did quit my in-person teaching job and immediately missed it. But it was the right move for me. I don't, don't know what else to say for that. Um, I ended up in urgent care one of those days in the emergency room uh, feeling like I was going to have a heart attack. At the age of 34, I felt like I was dying and I was going to have a heart attack when I spoke to the doctor. I was just having a panic attack and I just had no balance for my family at home. So I felt like that was the right move for me to just quit. But I did feel this emptiness. I feel like teaching is definitely a part of me and it's something that I worked so hard for that it was really heartbreaking to have to leave it. So I'll just leave it at that. But I did immediately miss it. Um, shortly after that, um, I so, shortly after quitting, I went to Argentina, which is where I'm from, from Argentina, and I visited family. I got to spend some amazing time with my grandma who passed away shortly after that. I'm talking about just a few days less than a week after I got back home uh, so I was super thankful that I got to do that it just felt like the right timing for the changes that were going on in my life and but when I got back home and just missing Argentina and also missing my family and missing my job and missing my students um, I decided to search for something different. I didn't want to just sit at home and do nothing. Uh, and I went right back to teaching. I uh, ended up applying uh, to a lot of places. I did get a lot of callbacks. I have a pretty nice resume and I think I am very likable. I have a lot of um, 
letters of rec and things like that because I really am just I just pour myself into teaching again I just can't say it enough it is who I am uh, through and through uh, but I ended up finding a uh, job as a teacher in a virtual school and it just seems to be perfect and that's where I'm at today I'm actually at a hotel room uh, we are doing state testing and I decided this would be a great time to just kind of film my first video and see how I felt about just diving back into YouTube and why this luxury space, right? Like this is so bizarre, <laughs> uh, such a big twist from going to making digital activities to talking about luxury handbags, like what is that? So a little backstory of how I got there. So I've loved handbags for as long as I can remember. Uh, my very first handbag, and hopefully my sister's watching this, but straight out of high school, uh, dumb thing to do is to go and get a credit card. Uh, Nordstrom's carried a card at that. And I ended up uh, completely just um, filling up that credit with one handbag, a Dooney and Burke bag. It was me and my sister got matching ones. That's why I said I hope my sister uh, still remembers that. We got a black and a white one. They were little tote bags. And um, they had the colorful hearts all over them that said Dooney and Burke. It was just the cutest thing. Um, that bag ended up getting stolen off of my younger sister's locker and then, or something like that, but it, it got stolen <laughs> but, uh, one time that I let my younger sister borrow it. <laughs> so that's just what happened. But I've loved handbags for as long as I can remember. I didn't have them really growing up until I left high school and then ever since then, uh, it's just kind of evolved, right? So Dooney and Berg coach um, Michael Kors was huge when I started going out with my husband. That was like my thing, all the Michael Kors. And then finally in 2016, I got my very first luxury handbag. Uh, it was a speedy after watching a million YouTube videos. And I have been in love with them ever since. And I love watching YouTube. And because of that, I've just been a watcher. Uh, but I've created some friendships with some of the YouTube girls. Uh, most, uh, I guess, notably is Candy from Candy Sweet Love from LV. Uh, Candy Sweet Love for LV. Uh, so I just through chatting with her, she told me, she's like, you would be great. Uh, go ahead and do it. So here I am, right? So just kind of going to be sharing that love that I have for luxury and how I afford it or what I do to be 100% honest. Uh, definitely not on my teacher's salary. This is something that uh, most of the time my husband gifts me uh, after sometimes a little bit of begging, sometimes no begging at all. Uh, but it is, I do have a small collection, definitely nothing compared to the girls out there. Uh, but I do love a lot of other things. So it's just going to be sharing that my uh, take on how I use them and how I incorporate them into my daily lifestyle, working from home, what I use them for, uh, things like that. So I love looking at them too. <laughs> um, and definitely what I do with them when they just don't work out. And long story short, now that Candy has her reselling business, <laughs> that's where they're going. <laughs> but just kind of talk a little bit about that. I am just kind of central to where all the large uh, stores are so I've never had that difficulty where um, I don't know where to go I am close in proximity to a lot of the big uh, retailers and a lot of the big uh, consignment shops so it's been an easy way for me to acquire them um, and just kind of learn a lot about them and yeah through this love of continuously being here on youtube and just supporting the girls that i feel like validate me in this space so for the longest time when i started um on this luxury journey i guess you can call it as i was going through and just kind of trying to find what i loved or what i needed or if i needed um a lot of the people that I follow just really don't have the same lifestyle that I have, right? They truly, fully live a luxurious lifestyle and that's not my everyday life. It's just not. Um, most of the time I'm in my pajamas, 
with a nice top for teaching online wearing my Crocs, right? So there, there's not, I am not this super luxurious person, uh, but I do love the handbags, right? They're just something that bring me joy. They make me insanely happy to look at. They make me all giddy to open them up and just have them in my hand and feel them and smell them. Um, so it is something that brings me a lot of joy and I don't have a lot of other things like that. Right, so other than Legos, oof, we'll get into that maybe sometime in the future. We'll see where this takes us. Um, and Harry Potter, Harry Potter Legos. Um, so I do have a lot of other little things, but definitely nothing to the extent of luxury handbags. And um, so just kind of get to get to exploring that. And if that is something that you're interested, join me on my journey. Uh, learn a little bit about me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you are like me, I would love to chat. Um, if you are that person that is definitely not luxurious, but just has this taste for handbags, uh, let me know. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to continue doing this. Um, I think it'll be a little easier here in the hotel rooms while I'm in this space because I have a no loudness from my dogs and my cats and my kids and my husband who doesn't really make a lot of noise. He's really good. Uh, but yeah, so we'll we'll see where this takes us. We'll see if I get an intro and an outro or if I end up being like Winnie. No intro, no outro, just this girl. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where this takes us. But those are um, just kind of the, the two major channels really that have brought me into the space that I love watching. Uh, actually, no, there's so many. Oh my God, I wish I could name them all. Uh, Rakita, she's another one. I love her. She's a Capricorn like me. Uh, she doesn't even know who I am, but <laughs> uh, I do. I absolutely love her. I watch all of her videos. Every time she watches them, I feel like uh, we'd be best friends in real life. <laughs> we are the same. Uh, she does live a luxurious lifestyle, though. She did watch, she did make a video recently where she talks about how on her day-to-day -day life she's just not running around in her Louis and I appreciated that so much because every time I see her on her YouTube videos I was like I could never um so yeah but this is me I'm Jorgelina I am excited to be here and just change a little and again if you are a teacher and you've been on this YouTube journey with me please continue to join me and chat with me let me know if you need anything uh again right i started the video that way and i'm going to end it that way being a teacher is who i am and helping teachers is what i do and i love that part about my job other than obviously my students um so yeah let's get together let's enjoy this ride and thank you for tuning in and hope to see you on the next one bye <laughs>